of the International Secret Police. Ceiling zero. Ceiling zero. Ceiling zero. In the previous episode, Clint Barlow swore Bob Gilmore into the International Secret Police prior to his departure in the bullet monoplane to Hong Kong. As Speed, Clint, and Barney are talking over future plans with Bob, Speed notices the missing houseboy down by their plane with a monkey wrench, evidently about to wreck the controls. Thinking him to be another member of the octopus gang, intent on delaying their progress, they all race down to the landing. We find them with Yen, the houseboy, who, seeing their approach, sought to escape. But he is now fast in the clutches of Barney. You will if you keep on shaking him like that, Barney. Hold him still long enough so we can question him, will you? Oh, please, Mr. Gilmore. This is kind of crazy. I do nothing. Why do you all appear so sudden in great excitement? What are you doing down here at the plane, Yen? Why, I come to bring back Monkey's wrench. Remember, please, you borrow him to me. You borrowed it, but uh, why were you monkeying around those controls? Oh, I like a uh, ship that a uh, flap flap I interested in in on. What's he talking about, anyhow? <laughs> he likes planes, Speed, and is interested in their inner workings. So, so. Oh, let him go, Barney. I think we've wronged Jim. Wronged him? This guy was going to wreck our plane. Oh, no, he wasn't. <laughs> we saw him leaning over the cockpit with a wrench and, suspicious from past experiences, took it for granted that he was an octopus gangster. Me? Octopus devilfish? No, 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 no. Yen, the good boy. Octopus bad, very bad. Very bad. He's very no. bad. Oh. Yeah, and I still ain't sure that this Yen wasn't up to something. No, I've looked the plane over, Bonnie. Everything's the same. <laughs> We've got to be more careful of accusing innocent people of being in the octopus gang. I'd rather accuse the wrong guy than pass up a guilty one. One, then it'd be too late to do any accusing. I don't blame you, Barney. After going through that experience in the flower boat, I mistrust almost everyone, even poor Yan. He's been with me ever since I came up to Siang. And when I saw him at the plane, even I thought he was guilty. Oh, oh Mr. Gilmore, Yan, your houseboy, you friend, he never do anything against you. Okay, Yan. And now that the excitement is over, you might give me that monkey wrench. Oh, so, yes, yes, here it are. I never use monkey's wrench again. Next time, you borrow to me screwdriver. <laughs> <laughs> everything set for the takeoff, Clint? <laughs> yes, Bob saw to it that we had plenty of gasoline and everything else is attended here. There's no reason in the world why we can't take off right now. Well, but don't you think we ought to let Dr. Kingsley know we're coming? Yes, I'll do that just before we take off. And now, let's go back and get our belongings, huh? I'm anxious to return to Hong Kong to see if anything new has developed there. Daddy? Oh, hello, Jean, darling. Well, I'm not much company for you, am I? Staying here with a short wave set in case anything comes in from Speed or Clint. Hmm? Oh, I don't mind. But I wish they'd come back. Ever since the octopus took Marsha away, I'm afraid for everybody. I should never have sent for you and Marsha, Jean. We were far safer in Honolulu. Oh, no, Daddy. I'm glad I'm here. Because I want to help you all capture the octopus if I can. What's that you're working on now? That's the copy of Marsha's map that Clint made. I've been trying to figure out the names of the streets that have been blotted out, but I'm not any further with it than I was when I first started. Can you make out any of the names at all? Very few. I believe they're down to the Bund. The what, Daddy? The Bund, the waterfront. But I'm not even certain of those because Winfield translated most of the names into English. And, of course, he may have given the wrong translation. Can the secret police search the waterfront, then? Just in case Mr. Winfield was right? Not unless they have a point to start from, Jean. The Hong Kong waterfront is a puzzle that uh, no one has been able to solve, to my knowledge. Then you might as well throw the map away for all the good it's doing. No, there's one indication here that may help us. I'm going to work on that a little while longer. I'm going to compare it with these city maps, and if there's any similarity at all, 
then we may have a starting point to work on. Well, Bob, so long until I see you again. So long, Speed, and happy landing. You said it. I hope it'll be happier than our last one on the Siang, a dead stick landing. <laughs> I don't think we'll have an octopus playing after us on the return flight, Bonnie. At least I hope not. Well, I'll keep in touch with you, Bob. And remember, memorize that code and then destroy the key. You bet I will. And I won't forget any of your other instructions. If I hear anything up here, I'll let you know immediately. That's right. Either at KVMC, the doctor's wave band, or IS-56 at Li Ying. And you know the flight call, OC-34. Yes, I have all that data. And always be careful what you give out over the air, Bob, because more than likely the octopus is lurking in a killer cycle listening to every word you say. <laughs> I'll remember, Barney. <laughs> oh, goodbye, then, and be careful. I will, Clint. Who's going to fly back? I will, Barney. Give you a rest. You can take care of the short wave set in case any messages come in. Suits me. Go ahead, Speed. You get in first. Walk along the tail and don't fall in. I won't. Lucky I wore my sneakers or I might fall in at that. The tail's pretty small and slippery. Okay, I'm in. Now, go ahead, Barney. Sit up with Speed. I'll take the controls in a single cockpit. Okay. So long, Barney. So long, Barney. Good thing that plane has dual controls, Clint. You can switch without any trouble. Yes, working on the plane as you have, you know what sort of enemy we're up against, Bob. The octopus must have several planes like this. If we could only find his secret hangar, we could at least end his air activities for the time being. Where do you think he buys these planes? I don't think he does. He must build them. Otherwise, if he purchased them from a manufacturer or from some government, they'd be bound to attract notice. They're so modern and powerful. The octopus has highly skilled labor at his command, as well as killers and kidnappers. Okay, come ahead, Clint. Uh, goodbye. Good luck, Bob. Same to you, Clint. Say, Speed, would you mind giving me a little room? Oh, I'm sorry, Barney. I didn't notice I was crowding you. I know. You get in the plane and forget everything else. Can I fight for a little while, Barney? Don't know. That's up to Clint. Well, we're in the air before bothering him, though. We haven't given this crate a test flight since Bob patched it up. Looks all right, and motors sound pretty, but you never can tell. Okay. Everybody set for a takeoff? You bet. Give her the gun, Clint. Here's your helmet speed. Thanks. Look out for that sampan ahead, Clint. Yeah, who's flying this plane? Okay, but if you crack up, don't say I didn't tell you so. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. So long. Off center balance, Barney? No, Bob saw to that. Your weight's about the same as that reserve gasoline tank was when full. Clint made a good takeoff. And just in time, another minute and Clint would have turned that sampan into a junk. <laughs> See, that's pretty good. <laughs> Did you hear that, Clint? Hear what? The joke I just cracked. No, thank heaven. How do you like that? <laughs> Oh, you know, Clint never likes to talk much when he's at the controls, Barney. I wasn't asking him to talk, just to listen. Did you think that joke was funny? What joke? I give up. <laughs> what joke? I'm sorry, Barney, but I really didn't hear what you were saying. I'm so interested in what's below us. You know, the Siong River looks a lot different from the air than it does from a boat. I wouldn't know. We flew down here in a dogfight above the clouds. All I saw was a lot of sky and machine gun bullets. Gee, tell me more about that fight, Barney. Nothing much to tell, except what you already know, kid. Golly, I wish I'd been along. You wish you'd... Uh, there's one thing you've got to learn, kid, and that's to know when you're well off. Oh, I know that, Barney. Say! Now what? And, and don't grab me like that. My nerves is all on edge since we was almost dumped into the Siang River. We forgot to let Dr. Kingsley know we were on our way back. So we did. But there's nothing to stop us talking to him now. I'll bring him through. Okay. This river has a lot of landings, hasn't it? I'd give anything to know where they have taken Miss Marcia. So would I, kid. But we'll have to be patient about her. Not a chance in the world of finding her by trailing her blind. Barney. Yeah? Do you think the octopus will hurt her? You want it straight, kid? Yeah. I'm in the secret police. 
I want to face back. Well, if it was any other girl, I'd say she didn't have a chance. The octopus ain't tender with the people he wants to get rid of. You know that. I know. But Marsha's different. She's got looks. And she's got brains. Plenty of brains. Between the two, she may be able to stall the octopus. Play for time. And if she can just play for enough time, we'll catch up with her. We're bound to. Yes, yeah, the only can. Hold everything. The set's hot. Flight station OC34 calling KBMC. OC34 calling KBMC. Standing by. Come in, please. Wonder if Dr. Kingsley buy a set. Dollars to donuts he is. After the last talk I had with him, telling about you coming up here and rescuing us from the octopus gang, he said he'd stay by his set until he saw us walk in the door again. KBMC answering flight station OC34. KBMC answering OC34. Stand by for two-way broadcast. Okay, Doc. We're ready. Barney? Yep. How's tricks? Thank heaven I finally contacted you. I just tried to reach his Gilmore station, AKOFF. I couldn't raise anyone. He was down seeing us take off. That's why you couldn't get him. Are you on your way back here to Hong Kong? You bet. I've seen enough of the Siang River to last me for a good long while. Why? Well, I've been studying that map very carefully. Why's his map? I mean, the copy Clint made of it. Pipe down and listen, kid. Hold everything a minute, Doctor. Clint, are your earphones adjusted? Are you listening to this? Yes. Tell the doctor to be careful what he says over the air. Barney, I think I've faced the point of operation in regard to the octopus's headquarters. See, tell him to wait until we get there, Barney. He's forgotten the octopus may be listening. Wait a minute, Doc. No, 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 you must listen. One passage to his headquarters and it's beginning at the Sion and... Doc. Dr. Kingsley, are you there? What's wrong? He doesn't answer. Barney, you think the octopus got to him? He just said Siong and that's all. Siong what? That's what I aim to find out. Rev up your airspeed, Clint. We may be in time to save the doctor. We've got to get to him in time. 